Rules for today's video, we have one hour, and in that one hour, we've got to catch a fish. Fish on, baby. Clean a fish, cook a fish, and we're gonna do it Southern style, baby. Fry them things up. That's great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I just caught a bike helmet out of midair, and that's because today we're gonna do a first ever catch and cook on an electric bike, the Hay Bike Tyson. So, check us out. This is the Hay Bike Tyson, brand new, and this baby is sweet. Hay Bike has been nice enough to send us one of these bikes to review on the channel, and to do that, we're gonna make sure we do a catch and cook, and we're gonna make it good. If we burn the fish, we burn the video. If we burn the video, we suck. Ladies and gentlemen, this bike has a 750 watt motor inside of it. How fast does it go, you might ask? 28 miles an hour, and that's quick. Now let's talk a little bit about these shocks. I mean, shocking. Max load on this thing, 400 pounds. And don't even think that I'm close to 400 pounds. Hey, Bike Tyson, check them out. Right behind me, we have a brush pile. A brush pile that I sank years ago. Hopefully this brush pile still has some, woohoo, and hopefully it's still holding the fish. We shall see. I'll take my helmet off. <laughs> I don't know, there are a bunch of rocks down there. I have been known to slip. So the lake level is super low right now. Corps of Engineers drops the lake every year around this time so that everybody can work on their docks and do all kind of repairs that they need to do. Yeah, so if you want to catch fish in this lake, most of the time you need to be sinking some brush piles, clearing out brush from your house, cutting down old trees you don't want, and then tying them to some cinder blocks, sinking them in the lake, and then coming back and fishing where you sink them. Generally the best way to get a bite out here. I know you've heard AO and Norm and everybody call this the Dead Sea, meaning that there's no fish in it, but that is not the case, and I'm here to prove it today. I think this is going to be my last cast with this one. I'm going to pick up the drop shot. Generally, the pink drop shot is the way to go. That right there, guys, has caught a lot of fish for me in the past. But a lot, nonetheless. Fish on, baby! Fish on! Oh my gosh! I've got one, guys. It feels like a pretty good one, too. Oh, it's a spotted bass. He's getting me down there in those rocks. Come on, baby. I gotta land this fish. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> yes, sir! Let's go! I would call it a football, but I mean, she's not really long. This is like a peewee football. Wow! She ate that morning dawn robo warm up just like she's supposed to. And she is gorgeous. There we go. Well, hey, somebody's eating tonight. Awesome fish. So, fish number one for the catch and cook complete. I would like to go ahead and catch two or three because cameraman Chris looks a little bit hungry today too. And I've got quite the appetite. So. Dude, it is windy. This lake is nowhere near this choppy most of the time. I mean, these waves are chopping, baby. Got one, baby. This feels like another good one. This feels like it's bigger than the other one. What do I have on? Oh my gosh, she's fighting. Oh, don't get me in the rocks. Don't get me in the rocks. What do I have right now, guys? What in the world? There she comes. She's, oh, it's a big spot. Pretty spot. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go, baby. Yes. Now we eating tonight. So, I mean, at first we was eating, but Cameraman Chris wasn't eating. And now, Cameraman Chris gets a bite. Let's 
sweet guys well that is awesome super glad to have this fish all right so that's fish number two right here guys we're gonna go ahead and take off to our other spots i want to go hit a fishing pier where i feel like we can get a few more bites hopefully we can have some good fried fish later on so stick with us i got a little bike ride come fishing with me this thing rides so smooth so we're on the way to the next spot guys the thing is i've got to stay on this hay bike the whole time at least while we're traveling obviously not while we're cooking but so far so good guys this hay bike is legit i mean every bike i've ever owned i've had to pedal and i don't really like doing that you know what i'm saying kind of tiring i don't think i pedaled this thing one time today now if you want to pedal the hay bike you can pedal it not a problem at all how you guys doing <laughs> yeah so you got a horn on these hay bikes that's another cool thing they also come equipped with tail lights blinkers so guys we just went uphill didn't have to pedal at all i think that's awesome i mean i'm coming across the west point lake dam right now at about mm, 16 miles an hour reduce speed ahead <laughs> that sign was for me baby So, right here, we have the Chattahoochee River that you normally see me fish. And right over there, we have West Point Lake, where AO says you can't catch fish. And right there is Cameraman Chris. So far, I've been super impressed with a hay bike Tyson. Guys, this thing will get you to and from work. It'll get you down the road to the grocery store. Just can't enter a bike race, which sucks, because I thought I was going to win my first one. All right, first trip on the main road. Let's hope this goes good. All right. See you guys later. Dang, that was a fox that just jumped out in front of us. That was awesome. Oh, spider web to the face. Maybe I need to slow down a bit. Oh, spider webs everywhere. Oh, spider web. I feel like Spider Man right now. Oh, no. Well, it looks like this right here is as far as we can go, guys. We've got a giant tree. Look at all these spiders I've got on me now. Get off me. Spider webs all over everything. But that's the name of the game, guys. We're exploring. All right, time to head out. So when I was a kid, we used to clean fish on this dock till the trees fell. We would come up here sometimes and catch like a hundred crappie in a day off the rocks whenever the crappie go on bed. And we would sit right here, clean them on this little table over here, throw the guts in the water, and then we would catch the catfish and the stripes that came up to eat them. So we're going to see if there's anything in and around this dock now. We're going to run this crankbait down these dock posts, guys, right here in the sh hmm. YouTube is so hard. So we're going to run this crankbait down these dock posts. What I was trying to tell you a minute ago. There we go. That's the cast we want. Maybe there's something under there waiting. Nothing. Maybe they're a little deeper, guys. Maybe they're a little deeper. Motorcycles are cool guys, but you'd much rather have a hay bike. Trust me. All right guys, so that's it for the marina. No more fishing here. I must've caught them all when I was younger. So we're going to the Rocky Point Pier. See you guys over there. Let's go. All 
All right, guys, so we've made it to the pier. Got the pier right here behind me. There's a ton of fish around us. We've only got a few minutes left, so we gotta hurry. Let's do it. Got one. Fish on, guys. Oh, it's a big spot. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. There we go, guys. Well, we have got plenty of fish now for a catch and cook. Took a little while on the pier. Normally, it's a little quicker than that. But nice, pretty fish. That gives us three spots that we can fillet up, throw in our frying pan and some hot grease, and get our eat on. Only one thing left to do. Get to cleaning them. That's cameraman Chris's job. Let's go. All right, guys, how about that? So Hay Bike was nice enough to send us a back bike rack for our Hay Bike. And it has proven awesome for today. We've kept all our fishing gear in there, and now we were able to bring everything from the truck down here to our cook spot. Another little fun fact, I printed this label, so kind of cool. I'm just saying. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I like to print labels sometimes, too. By sometimes, I mean five days a week, nine hours a day, all day. So, right now would be a great time to subscribe, like, and share. We're about to cook. Bam! Got them done, guys. Got all of our fillets right here. We got six nice little fillets, and they are looking nice. Awesome little fillets, no bones. These things are gonna be good. So, we're gonna take these fillets, throw them in our little bowl. Come over here, let me show you a little secret. Hot sauce. Soak these things in hot sauce to begin with. Roll it around. Get those things nice and sauced up. Perfect. Just like that, get you a paper towel. Clean those mittens. Sweet! So we're gonna throw our fish into the cooler. All right, so we got our fish on ice. We're gonna let those sit for a while. I gotta cut up some potatoes. I'm thinking fish and chips, you know? I mean, a little bit Irish out here. Well, that was British, wasn't it? How would you do an Irish accent? Top of the evening to you. I don't know how to do that, but. Either way, we're gonna do some fish and chips, guys. So I've got some potatoes right here. Go ahead and cut these things up. Pre-washed, washed them at the house. Bam! Just like that. Isn't that what that Lagasse dude says? Bam! <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's it guys. We've got everything prepped. So it's time to go ahead and heat up our oil. Our vegetable oil. Hmm, got a little warm on that side. Got our oil in there guys, we're gonna let that heat and then as soon as it's hot enough, we're going to go ahead and do our fries. And I love fries. No lie, my kids will eat fries literally all day. It's to the point to where it's time to tell them, you gotta drink water, you can't eat fries. Something I wish my mom and dad would've told me a long time ago. All right guys, we've got our grease hot. We're about to dump our fries and hope for the best. Oh, <laughs> Shoot! 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 I'll grab that. I don't know, I mean... Cameraman Chris, you be the deciding factor. Do you like your fries soft or do you like them crispy? Like when you go to McDonald's, you looking for that one that's like, or that one that's like. I don't know, I like it in between. 
in between. So you're kind of a glass is just half. Your glass is just half. It's not full or empty. It's just correct. Okay. All right. Well, if that's the case. I'd say we're done because we're on the crispy side, which is hey, I like my fries crispy, guys. So you let me know. How do you like your fries? I just don't like them burnt. Well, these ain't burnt. I'm mean, check them out, guys. Come over here, get you a little shot of that. I mean, come on now. I would say those are done. So we're about to take them off. Oh boy, stop. Look like McDonald's, but we ain't got no Big Mac. These fries, I'll say, they look pretty good. I mean, hey, we don't come out here and do this often, but when we do it, we'll be doing it. And in my opinion, there's nothing better than a Southern style fish fry. So I've got a lot of subscribers from like up north and from basically clear across the world, which I think is awesome. Let me know. Do you guys do Southern style fish fries? I mean, are you frying your fish? Frying your fries, frying your ketchup, and then stepping on the scale and thinking, dang, homie, dang, bake them things next time, boy. But for today, we're frying everything. So, let's try one. Wow. <laughs> we haven't even salted them yet. I mean, hey, what good are fries without salt? <laughs> A lot of salt. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, if you're going to salt them, salt them. Hey. <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> Come on now. Salted our fries. Our fries are awesome. We're about to batter and fry our fish. Still got some hot grease. We have not burned the grease, so that's a good thing. I've done that pretty much every other time that I've ever fried fish. It's the small wins in life. Okay, guys, so fries are great. We've tried those. It's time to batter these fish up and get them in the grease. You're just going to take your nicely hot sauced filet, drop her in there, get her coated. And I mean, I want to coat them. You know what I'm saying? If we're going to coat them, let's coat them. All right, so we double coated our fish. We wanted to go ahead and get a really nice coat on there. In fact, we're still coating, but we're ready. Now, we need to make sure that our grease is ready. I want to make sure on that. Fish is kind of tricky. Fries, I don't worry too much about, but fish, we want to make sure that grease is about the right temperature. So, I'm going to do that by taking a small piece. Ah. I just feel like that's close, man. I feel like it needs to be a little hotter. I'm thinking like one or two more minutes. Let's say one more minute and we'll drop. Because those fish are gonna cool that grease off. I know that much. I've done this enough times to know that. So you're out here with a new guy, but we're gonna see. So I guess now would be a good time to tell you guys we went over our time limit of an hour by about three hours. And uh, I just goofed up, I'm sorry. But we do have our fish battered and ready. Huh? Huh? Come on now. So we're gonna drop our first piece in and hope for the best. Oh. Yes, sir. I don't know about you guys, but I think this looks wonderful. I think we're about to go ahead and pull it off. Oh, whoa. Yeah, guys, this right here is looking good. No problems at all with this. I'm gonna probably eat all these. I don't know what cameraman Chris has got. We probably got a little piece over there for him. Yeah, guys, I'm probably gonna eat every bit of this. How about that, huh? Looking like we out here knowing what we're doing. Ah. All right, so our fish is done. We've got our last piece over there cooking. We're not gonna worry about that right now. It's a big piece. It's gonna take a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite, tell you guys what I think. I know what you're thinking. He's about to take a bite and say it's great like it always is because you never want to say something's bad for a video. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. 
I'm going to tell you exactly like it is. That's great. Foo was great. I would say that that is a successful catch and cook video. I love doing catch and cooks, guys. If you like it, let me know in the comments. Also, check out Hey Bite. We appreciate them for sending us an awesome product for today's video. I had a blast. That was the most fun I've had filming a video. Thanks, guys. Like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to get to... Well, you know. Just like, share, subscribe. You feel me? <laughs> Boy. Come on now. It's good, dude. What can I say? Hey. If you're five foot three, 300 pounds, Texas all about to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Oh, it's a darn shame. What this channel's come to.